not being lost. They, they're precious, okay? Yeah, I want to see that ping. A good ping. I want to see, see a good ping. I, I want to see a good ping. Let me, let me see that ping. Go. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alrighty, um, so jumping into a completely different week, but with a different way of playing, we're now seeing there Louis Jesus up. We see Louis Jesus up up against Coltman. I'm gonna completely ignore the interaction that you Good. just had. Good. Uh, it's gone. And I'll lean, I'll lean right into the the wee fit topic of conversation. Three of them entering this bracket week. This week. Oh my two God. In top eight. Coltman. Did you see how many times he kicked that poor header back into Weefit's body? That was menacing. He's got big legs, a lot of kicks. Snakes, oh, he, snakes, up close boxing tools are always slept on, uh, in my opinion. Like, you gotta keep in mind, like, his neutral air lasting forever can, uh, can confirm into things like up tilt. Uh, F tilt is frame four and huge. Ooh. That frame four and course. huge, and always longer lasting than you would anticipate. It can kick you up, it can kick you forward, it can. It, it does everything, okay? The home. Wait, how did Coltman take 87%? What happened? What Welcome happened? to Weep It. <laughs> Welcome to Weep It, baby. When she is deep breathing, and even sometimes when she doesn't, you get hit by a falling nail, and you're like, wow. I have no idea what just happened, uh, and I'm not here for it either. One combo starter is all it takes, and you know, sometimes all, all it takes is one up to finish that stock. 121 is quite, quite a lot, and zero is where he'll be set now. Man, Luigi mm -hmm. just showing his dominance, like going for the, the consistent traps that, that F2 provides him. That's what he needed. The great equalizer. I can't even. Like, what can you? What can you even say about that? Uh, they could... What? What is even going on anymore? That was a. That was a lot of kills. <laughs> that was a messy game. <laughs> I feel like they were all so close to each other that every replay is gonna hold the previous yeah. replay's kill. <laughs> you can just like that. Yep. Yeah, oh. There. There's the first yeah, there, one. There that, you know, and it's actually. This is actually. The replay. For this kit, well, there he goes. I, Peace I out. I don't know like, why Coleman, of all the buttons that he could have pressed at disadvantage, like that, that was why the was, one. Like, why was he buffering fair? <laughs> what was the plan there, dude? <laughs> what was the plan? What, what were you anticipating? Ah, tragic. But again, you know, it, it is Wi Fi. Sometimes you buff with options that you're like, wait a second, that's not uh, what I wanted to do. And, and you die for it. That in and of itself was quite tragic. Um, Coleman didn't get to play the game too much. You know, Louis, Louis did a great job of cleaning up the first stock, and then the second stock was just. <laughs> the second stock just flew by, man. Just took 87% in a matter of seconds. He died at thir oh. 32 before the hit. Nice. That's like, baby. Yeehaw. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh. All right. Nair, gets the final and kick and then what, Louis air jumps? dodge. Oh no, he just double jumps and gets. Ooh, gets that big old like heal. With, with any amount of di in, you know, and holding shield, you'd have been able to attack that too. That was so livable. Maybe. Uh, that, that was livable. Yeah. Um, but either way, Louis was still able to take it. For the, both the life and the death of Snake, apparently. Going into game number two, uh, I, I want to see a game this time, uh, you know? Yeah, can we actually play the game this time instead of just like, killing each other? Yeah, we're, we're online killing somebody. It happens, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, you don't Coleman see it, but my eyebrows it. raised. <laughs> Coleman wants it. You know, Coleman wants those edge guards. Even, even at the risk of his own life, he'll, uh, he'll go deep that go for it. Yeah. All patience lost. It's time to mash. <laughs> there, there is no stage. Only edge guard. Oh, <laughs> oh please. Yeah, please. Okay. <laughs> Try, <laughs> ooh, that was a weird. <laughs> the fastballs are so risky, but they're so like. I mean, he is mocking us. He's like, he's like saying, yeah, complain about this a little bit more. I'm still gonna live. And you know what? Coleman is still able to make him back. That Nikita just barely missed Louis Jesus. He was still able to find his way back onto the stage. Alright, there goes that volleyball from, like, out of play up until, I mean, Louis Jesus spawns another one. Now he goes for the jump and gets right by with that F2 again, frame four. 
Like, it's such a good... Like, Snake's tilts are so good to land with. And you don't have to worry about, like, landing with one of his aerials that might have, like, a little bit more lag. He can just put his boots on the ground and throw out one of those insane tilts to gain as much space as he needs or just kill straight up. Yeah, Snake has no light of having, like, as fast of buttons as he does sometimes, you know? He can box, he can scrap, and just like that, Louie, the only way that he's been taking stocks out so far is that F-Tilt has just been paying him dividends, and honestly, uh, it is basically an all-poopless kill move, but it's a huge, like, call-out to Coltman just saying, hey, you know, be a little bit more careful about the way that you neutral get up. F-Tilt, uh, gonna be able to set up the edge guard for him. Once again, and Nikita just following Louie, but he was able to get past it in time. We, like Nikita is awkward, but it's one of those tools that you can use at least if you're snake to oh my seriously goodness. challenge. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it just doesn't stop. He got caught on the stage. Tragic was able to find Detecto. He's still living, he's chilling. Louis uh, respected that a little bit too much, didn't position himself. He thought that you know what, this was going to be it for Coldman and that F tilt. More like F and B tilt. Uh, it is a B tilt. It's one of the only B tilts. Back, back tilt. You heard a back special. Oh no. Okay, he's he's snake because he's fine, but Louis Louis almost made it not so fine. Uh, Nikita negated by the activity of the ball, letting him get back to ledge. One grab is all it takes for Coltman to take this stock, but. You know, with the amount of damage and the amount of pressure that Louis Jesus keeps putting on. Oh like, my when, goodness, when what? Is it, what even was that? Was that there. a grenade? And the late hit of back here. That move is so unbelievably active. Coltman definitely making the most out of it. Gets the C4 into a forward and an F tilt and put on 50% out of seemingly nowhere. What? Why? Why did that work? Why was that a thing that he was fishing for? I don't get it. But, you know what? Godspeed to you, Coltman. And Nikita blocks the volleyball, the soccer ball. You saw how, far, how much that Nikita was just trapped. That Nikita was like heat seeking, heat seeking this whole thing a second. C4 primed been placed. Uh, goes for the lie down. The delayed wake up was so smart from Louis Jesus. That was excellent. You know, you never expect it. You expect the buffalo neutral get up. You expect the get up attack. You expect the goal. Uh, expect the goal. But Louis Jesus was so. So perfectly placed for all of his for all of his aggression, and he made sure that Snake would would feel it. He would feel in disadvantage every time he went off stage, whether it be the constant pressure for Coltman going low, or just throwing the volleyball when he covers back high. It's it's what you need to do. You can't let Snake stay on the stage too long, or else the the very ground you stand will become a landmine. So keep throwing him off. And off and off and off. Mm -hmm. That's a oh, man, that was, that was hilarious. Coleman, Coleman just sat there and took that F tilt, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but, but despite that recovery and everything, you know, Louis Jesus was just still able to clean it up with an F tilt. That move caps. It, it, it does. You know, that move, that move is, is just cap the move. It, it cheats. Which yeah. move? I mean. F tilt, uh, Wii Fit F tilt, apparently. Well, the polls are in, and it does seem that Wii Fit is, in fact, in violation of the Geneva Convention. So it is pretty consistent. Which ones? You know which ones? <laughs> which All one? of them. All of them. Whoa. Simultaneously. Oh, and Coltman. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, Dr. Mario Wii Fit. It's probably about as good as Dr. Dr. Mario as it sounds. Wii Fit, run away, throw projectile. Uh, Dr. Mario. Slow and better recovery. Uh, so you know, Coltman's gonna have to find a way to get in, but I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. Doc's another one of those characters that are bullied by their attributes rather than their raw moves. Oh, he has got... great moves. He has fantastic he... moves. Yeah, he has yeah. buttons. He has confirms. He has, he has a big cheating war cry move too, and the point would down be. You know, Dr. Mario almost has it all. Yeah, pillows um, are insane and like oh, food, infinitely, yeah. infinitely better than Fireball. Yeah, yeah top, top ten projectile. If only he was fast, but I don't want to live in a world where Dr. Mario is super fast. Yeah, I'm good on that too, to be quite honest. And just like that, FTL cleaning it up. Uh, Coleman definitely has some work to do, but honestly, Dr. Mario does not struggle killing too much. He has plenty of fast buttons and strong ones too. The down smash barely missed, but Coltman ready on the reaction, baiting, uh, knowing that Louis Jesus is going to run up and shield. 
Acid grab and a back throw. Yeah, getting a little bit too antsy to find the kill though. That down B is super unsafe, super laggy. If it's a whiff, you get blown up. If it hits shield, you get blown up. Honestly, that move, you don't have to be afraid of it too much, unless you're at 30%. Then you then you're constantly afraid of down B. Yeah, the, the higher percent he gets, the worse it seems, or the better. Yeah, yeah, the higher percent he gets, the worse it seems. Though, that's kind of awkwardly true for a lot of Doc's moves, uh, such as this Nair. The longer it out, the longer it's out, the stronger it gets. Oh okay. my goodness, what a trade. Was that F tilt and up smash? F tilt and up smash, yep. Yeah. F tilt and up smash. That's something that I was anticipating to see today. I'm not I'm not sure why it, it didn't like rank with one another, but you know what? Here we are. Um Louis Jesus with a huge lead for himself right now, but that's that's this is it. No no jump. No jump. This should have been the stop. Uh, but Coleman didn't want to commit too deep. Uh, just caught themselves in the lag of their own projectile. Uh, and then just found themselves having to deal with Haru. Louis Jesus, you know, was almost out of his choice to stay for a second. But was still uh, able to find his way back. Just rolling straight on, not worrying about it. The drop shield down smash is uh, gonna be ideal in that. Okay, gave him the boots. Spike him straight down and we got ourselves a p the potential of a game here. Mm -hmm. Of course, Luigi's can always fall back on the on the standard Dr. Ooh, Mario game plan. Wait, of... wait, that was a lovely wait. I love that. That was so cool. Uh, jabbed twice, waited for the out of shield option, caught the drop shield, and was like, okay, I'm gonna press more buttons now, and was able to deal a whole bunch of damage. Honestly, jab mix ups on shield are fantastic because people don't understand that some things are going to be actable. You can't. You have to. You have to guess. You know, if you're mashing an out of shield option, sometimes you, you'll die. <gasps> that's it. That's a cheating. That's a big funny cheating move. But honestly, that move does not scale all that much with percent. Uh, you have to be really close to the side of the stage. Yeah, he's survived thus far, and with the current with the current situation, I wouldn't be surprised to see Glee Jesus fall back on the the anti Dr. Mario game plan of just like running away and waiting him out. It's it's plausible. Pills lose to parrying. Facing it out to not get hit by that up smash. Doc is surprisingly heavy, surviving all that, and no, and of course no deep breathing. Oh my goodness, that is so scary! Oh, Coleman risked it all, and he. The I have no up. words. I, I, I just choked. I, I went. Uh, what is happening? Please, Louis. A any hit, anything from either of these players would be able to take it. I don't even know what up tilt would have done. <laughs> oh my god. Not that down be quite yet. Looking for the up air, but Coltman smartly just retreats back to ledge. Going for the edge guard if he can. There it is. <laughs> wow. I taste the tomato. I taste the basil and the parmesan. Do you taste it, my friend? The spaghetti. No, that's a that's a doctor, not just an Italian. He's he's here to give you he's here to give you prescription medicine, not just not just Italian wedding soup. Ooh, I like that. Italian wedding soup is kind of fire. I'm, I'm with it. That was, that, was a, that was a nice addition. Yeah, that, that down is so menacing. Oh, he mad. Uh, oh, he mad he's mad. A, no, Dr. Mar is upset. Like, oh, no. He's walking around on th throwing out moves on the screen, on the character select screen. Like, Dr. Mar is pissed. <laughs> Wait, I don't so... know what made him so mad. That, that mad, down is just it's just... You know, that's that's him performing like CPR you. Like he's he's had enough using his like stubby little pathetic hands. So he just kicks you. He steps on you. Jesus. You know? <laughs> he's got like the you know you know Doc has the docks on? Look at those boots. Oh yeah. He has the docks. <laughs> he's not worrying about like trying to keep you alive. Like not not I'm telling pumping you. It, not pumping his hands to the beat. He's just jumping on your chest, heart, hoping your heart stops rather than starts. Ugh. A Dr. Mario counterpick. Of course, he's got a. No. Wow, that first, that first F don't like. Yeah, let's just <laughs> see that again. Louis, and then Louis thought for us as it was, hey man, I'm gonna press this button again. I love this. I just love this. What if I do it? Oh, and then just like, should I just poke him again? <laughs> but what Both. if I do it again? <laughs> Both of them were just mashing. Both of them were mashing. Oh, it was up it. B. It wasn't up smash. Oh, it was up yeah. B. That he makes went. a bit more sense because of frame, the frame three. Yeah. Boop. It's not just that, but also, okay, that explains to me why those two. <laughs> <laughs> 
so, giant red diamonds that show up. <laughs> so actually, this is a really important interaction, and I'll explain why. Uh, so you can't actually, you know, you you can't interact with grounded normals the same way you do with some special moves and aerial moves. You know, the hitboxes will face through each other rather than causing either player to go into rebound. And because neither player went into rebound, uh, and then it ended up trading. But I promise you, had Coltman gone through an up smash with whatever other grounded move, that would we would have seen the rebound, we would have seen the plank, uh, and the situation would have been reset. That's true. It's uh, it's the same. It's the reason why uh, Olimar was bad in Smash Four because all of his aerials were all of the aerials with his Pikmin were treated as items instead of uh, aerials. So you could he was the only character that you could climb with his aerials when that is not supposed to happen with any move, any aerial move. Oh, you you interacting with his Pikmin and then it's just like that's really really strange. Uh, anybody that has like aerial projectiles, it gets a little bit weird. But I but you know otherwise well. Uh, Speaking of this game, Louie has already managed to clean up his stuff for himself. Uh, he's just holding down the stage super well, goes through that high recovery that's interesting. He's able to get a grab out of the head, who still gets the barely, not, uh, not enough frame advantage, so to get the F tilt. This is, yeah. this is already looking like a really good game. He has all the momentum in the world, but Coleman still is able to clean it up. Again, like dog, no struggles killing at all. No matter what Mario character or Mario variant, I guess, you go for, they all share one thing in common. Uh, up smash is really good. <laughs> and while Dox isn't the best one of the bunch, it is still just as strong, even with the angle that it sends you at. So, we're kind of seeing the issue that comes with uh, the Dr. Mar Dr. Mario as a counter pick, because Doc can feel really good on a stage like Battlefield or Smashville, where he has... Like, there's not much room to move at all, so he doesn't have to worry about his slow speed as much and can more utilize his pretty good frame data. Uh, PS2 is not, is pretty big, so trying to outpace Doc, or Dr. Mario trying to outrun you is not really going to happen all that much. <laughs> of course, Luigi Jesus is not he really... He doesn't have the mobility to do that, and yeah, at, th at that point, as we said, with the bleeding, uh, you really should be dead at any point. A uh, beautiful sun salutation. Uh, Colton was definitely not expecting that at all. And just like that, once again, cleaning up the stock with up smash, bringing this to a really even game. Honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. Louis could be playing this a lot lamer than he is right now. Uh, he could be going away more. He could just be, uh, you know, he could he could take a page out of the numbers book. You know, he, he can run away. He can heal. Forty-two percent. Forty-two. Yep. Well. Yeah, it's kind of, it's up to the prerogative of the player to play the, the matchup quote-unquote correctly. And the matchup against Dr. Mario is just to run away from him. But it's as long as he the keeps, as as long as he the keeps interacting, it's gonna get scary. So smart Louis didn't try to like challenge out with any other move. Uh, that's usually the bait, you know, any of the Mario characters in the up smashes. Don't challenge it, respect it when you can, you know, because otherwise you might be meeting some untimely ends. Anything from Louis here would be able to take it, but Coltman has positioned himself in such a way that the next hit is done. Yeah, there F-tilt, there it is, baby. Cover there that one frame window with all four of its we frames. To that tummy. That's all he needed. He was looking for that ROM. He was looking for that move on chase down a lot whether it be like landing landing with something and trying to catch a coleman mashing uh, watching him land with an air dodge and covers that all he needed to do instead was put it out on the neutral getup yep uh, the old reliable you know that's that's how louis was able to win games one and two truthfully uh he got so much mileage off of it uh you really to be so mindful about the way that you're getting off of ledge against we fit it's definitely one of the most uncomfortable positions in the game thank you so much to blues group for the follow i hope you're having a lovely day friend um i hope everybody in chat is having a lovely day and honestly if you're not uh end it off well you know do something nice for yourself tonight go watch some anime go go eat something tasty do something you nice yourself. for yourself watch anime mm. <laughs> okay you know you know what pick one okay pick one <laughs> In that case, but yeah, you know, you know, guys. Uh, even if what I like to really pick is, is yeah, it's uh -huh. hilarious. That's fine. You know, you know, I did before I hopped on here. I did before I hopped on here. 